It's a story that's garnered national attention. Fox 10 brought you to the scene of a Chandler home where authorities recovered 55 dogs living in deplorable conditions. Chandler police actually submitted more than 100 charges of animal abuse and cruelty, as well as charges about a vulnerable adult being abused, a charge against April McLaughlin. But less than a week after her arrest, the county attorney's office returned that case back to Chandler, meaning that McLaughlin is now a free woman. She was released this morning, but tonight we uncover more on what led up to this case and how CPD had been called for a welfare check months ago. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum reports. April McLaughlin may be free now as Chandler PD's investigation continues, but our investigation reveals five different Chandler police reports alleging animal or elder abuse. Many of the reports stem back to 2019. In one report, a woman from Texas tried to get her dog back from McLaughlin, claiming she had seen abuse through Instagram photos. Did authorities miss warning signs before entering a home filled with dogs? <laughs> Are you guys getting this? Do you hear this? This is a cry for help. For weeks, dog rescue advocates sounded the alarm on this Chandler home. This is so upsetting. Grace Dunlop arrived at the property near Picos and Cooper Roads on September 20th. What she discovered is something she will never forget. Hearing the cries and the barks of the dogs at the front door. You can't unhear that. Dogs living in filth, some unable to walk and trapped outside in the heat. I could smell the dog urine, the dog feces. I could smell filth from that far away just getting out of my car. So I knew that what I had seen wasn't over-exaggerated online. Several rescuers say they trusted 48-year-old April McLaughlin with disabled dogs they put in her care. Chandler police served a search warrant last Friday night, arresting McLaughlin on more than 100 charges, 55 counts of animal abuse, plus 55 counts of animal cruelty and failure to provide medical care. Court documents say police found more than 50 dogs living in their own waste without access to water at the 950 square foot home. Investigators say a majority of them had injuries and needed immediate medical attention. Police discovered five dead dogs in a freezer. McLaughlin appeared in front of a judge the next day. I agree wholeheartedly with the state. No animals. Absolutely no animals. McLaughlin is also accused of abusing her elderly mother, who lived in the home and slept on the couch, eating food from the same freezer containing the dead dogs, documents say. It takes an extremely evil person to treat not only animals the way that April did, but her own mother. According to records, McLaughlin goes by multiple aliases, including April Addison. And it was in 2019 when she spoke to Fox 10 about her nonprofit rescue group. I rescue special needs dogs because it's my passion and I want to help as many dogs as I can. At the time, fundraising to start Special Paws, now known as Special Needs Animal Welfare League. I've chosen to save them and adopt them into my family. Four years before police say she admitted to losing control of her living conditions. On the night before McLaughlin's arrest, the Chandler City Council heard from Coco Garcia with Handover Rover. There are over 30 rescues nationwide and out of country that have sent dogs to this woman. She lied to us. She scammed us. Marbles is a blind dog that Garcia rescued out of Mississippi. She says McLaughlin introduced herself as Taylor McKinley, a name registered to the 501 C3 organization, Special Needs Animal Welfare League, according to the state's Corporation Commission. Garcia and several rescue groups claim they stopped getting updates from McLaughlin on the dogs they saved. Chandler police say calls for the animal cruelty allegations ramped up in early August, but the city's current ordinance is a challenge. Ask the Arizona Humane Society. We work with 15 jurisdictions in the valley, and Chandler is one of two that does not have an animal ordinance, and that's what made this case particularly challenging for us because we could not seize under a hoarding ordinance or request seizure for a hoarding ordinance or for lack of medical care. According to Chandler's municipal codes regarding dogs, there's nothing written about hoarding or a limit on how many dogs can be kept on a property. City manager, um, can we uh, also take a look at 
we could adopt our own ordinance in the future to make it our lives a little bit uh, easier, uh, hoarding and failure to provide care, things like that. I felt very dismissed by, by multiple agencies. Rebecca Arismendi runs Yaki Animal Rescue out of Texas. She says she started calling the Arizona Humane Society in July, not knowing the condition of two dogs she rescued, Butters and Checo, who lived at McLaughlin's home. AHS made its first of three checks on September 9th, documenting clusters of flies, injured dogs, and an extreme smell of ammonia from outside. But the agency was denied entry inside. Arismendi drove from Texas to Chandler and says three police officers also responded. It smells like death on the property. And they said, well, yeah, and all three of them agreed. They all agreed that they were uncomfortable with what they saw. They said, we wouldn't want our dogs to be there. Fox 10 obtained a Chandler police report from late June for a welfare check at McLaughlin's home. She gave police the name Sydney Taylor with the alias of April Addison. Adult Protective Services initiated the call for elder abuse after police say McLaughlin's mother, Kathleen McLaughlin, walked into a library telling staff she was being mistreated by her daughter. An officer arrived at the home and spoke to McLaughlin from inside her car. Per the report, she said she had medical and financial power of attorney over her mother, telling police she kept electronic devices away from her mom, who had been scammed for thousands of dollars in the past. The case was closed after the officer wrote that the elderly woman looked healthy and showed no visible signs of abuse. How can the cops not do anything It is infuriating to know that those authorities in Chandler, Chandler Police Department knew about this. This could have been prevented. Four police reports in 2019 document multiple people requesting welfare checks, alleging animal cruelty at McLaughlin's home. A report in September says the caller smelled a strong animal odor, claiming several dogs lived on the property. In October, two people reported animal abuse and one officer reported going inside, seeing six dogs appear healthy, and that McLaughlin told him about an inspection by AHS the week prior. In December, one officer did a welfare check for a dog that a rescue group believed had been put down. The report says McLaughlin confirmed Rex had been euthanized due to medical issues. I don't believe the the hoarding, if you want to call it that, um, was as significant as it was today, as it was back then. But I do know that those rescuers also tried to get the authorities involved and say this woman has a problem. Aris Mendy and her team believe McLaughlin took in roughly 62 to 70 dogs this year alone. She's not far off. 55 dogs seized, five dogs found dead, and AHS says McLaughlin surrendered two canines during an earlier visit this month. I don't see how a lot of them are gonna come out alive. We asked Chandler PD about that welfare check in June and if the officer sensed anything coming from McLaughlin's home. We have not heard back. I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates.